Hey guys, Weekly Piano here. Um, today I'm going to let you in on a little practice session that I'm doing where I'm transcribing the line of a pianist who you may know, Tigran Hamasyan. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, he just came out with an incredible album called For Gumri. Gumri? I'm not also sure how to pronounce that. Um, but it's a brilliant record, very minimalist, um, almost all solo piano, and there's some vocal effects in there, um, and also some editing, some digital editing of the piano, reverse, reversing the waves and stuff. Um, it's really, really cool, very innovative. Um, and I listened through the whole album, there was one line in particular that really stood out to me that I wanted to capture what he was doing and use it in my own playing, so I am doing that now. So let's listen to this. It's at two minutes and 55 seconds into the song, The American. It's this one particular line, and it's, I think, the most brilliant line on the album. Um, and I, I just kind of heard it intuitively, but now that I've just started like picking it apart, I'm realizing why, which makes me want to transcribe it. So I'm opening up Sibelius on my computer, and I'm going to just transcribe this line um, in this tune, he's doing a 6-8 feel in the left hand, like, I can't remember, like, a simple, like, but then in this line, in the right hand, he's superimposing a 5-8 over that, um, and it ends up in this brilliant line, but it's not only it's not the superimposition that makes it sound brilliant, it's the way that the line interacts with itself. Um, so I can only really get into that by getting down these specific notes, and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we're just gonna do in Sibelius. You're not you can't see what I'm actually doing on the computer, but you don't need to. Um, there's six eight. Uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll show you actually. Can you see? Can you see my seat if I look at the using a GoPro to film this? Yeah, let's do this. Here you go. Maybe I can give you a little glimpse into actually what I'm doing here. I put this here. Maybe you can see. If you can't, I'm sorry, but you know maybe. So we're in minor, flat keys, D minor, title, the American transcription. Plugged into my piano, I'm using a Yamaha Inspire piano, so it's got digital output through MIDI, so I can plug it into my computer, and I'm using Sibelius, um, and uh, now, check this out. So let's just first get the line, okay? Those are the first things he does. Oh, didn't mean to type those in. So so let's see if this is, can I just record into this? So that's the first part. And then let's see where he starts the five line. really more of a 12-8, isn't it? It's like one, two, three, four, one, two, 
three, four, whatever, we can still do it in six, eight. Um, but because of that, I'm gonna do a dotted quarter note rest here, whatever, it doesn't matter what quarter note make, no rest. And now I'm gonna just type in the notes and the rest. So one, two, three, four, space, one, two, three, four, space, one, two, three, four, space, Hmm, I'm in the wrong clef here now, but... So, that's pretty cool. Five, five, and five. How does that mathematically line up? Let's think about this for a second. We're starting on the, um, I'm gonna change this to 12-8, because six eight doesn't really make sense, does it? Because you're counting a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, ticka -tick 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 -tick. All right, so time signature 12, 8. Okay. And let's make sure that it is counting it in the right way. 12, 8, but then more options. Here we go. 12, Eight human rest groups, three, 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 three. Beautiful. There, that's okay. So we're good. Okay, so now let's just reposition all this stuff. That's fine. Come on, Sibelius. You can't use. I use Dvorak as a keyboard layout, and it's not compatible with it. Really wish it were, but. So much more supportive if it were. Okay, let's just get these. Put this all in the treble clef. It doesn't need to be in the bass clef. The next line is right there. I'm gonna save this. practice so it's really interesting how it lines up if you start on beat four here of the if you're counting it one two three four it counts those three groups of five take up the rest of the bar until you get to the next one and then the phrase starts on one which is pretty brilliant because it at the end, the beginning of that 15 beat phrase, which it's 12 plus 3, that's the 3, it becomes three groups of 5. And then, so you're basically starting a superimposed bar on beat 4 of a 4 4 in triplets. And then, like, grouping that into one bar that's a little bit longer than what the other bar is that you're hearing. It's, it's, um, it, it twists the brain in a way that I like to do with my own polyrhythmic compositions. So that's the next part. That's the, what's going to be really cool. But first, let's get that first part down. So it goes down, down to there. So.
No, I'm gonna type that in before I explain it. Oh man, what an interesting phrasing. It's like one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's like <laughs> I'm. It, it's just. Well, we'll see. We have to see. It's like five and seven, basically. Like there, this sounds like a phrasing of five, and this sounds like a phrasing of seven that ends then on the end of beat one with the new phrase because he's starting a new key here. He's super. He's about to superimpose a new key. Um, let's just listen to this again. Okay, so we sort of, we, we kind of got it, right? Yeah, and he hits it right on the fucking one. It's so good. So now let's break apart these phrases, and let's just like, if I had a printer, I would do it. I would print it out and then mark it out, but I don't. So we're going to have to just like, just use Sibelius' tools to do this. So this is one group. Dig it, dig it. I'm gonna make it just uh, fucking W T S S K S. There we go. So all right. So I'm gonna make that a slur through the rest. I'm just writing slurs to denote where I'm actually where these phrases are, because this is where I'm hearing the phrases. So three phrases of five, another phrase of five, and then a phrase of I mean, it, this could be, I don't think it's five again. I think it's either seven or eight. Let's listen to it. Do you think it starts on the boop on, whoops. Do you feel like it starts on, or, or is that the ending and then it starts? Let's, let's listen to see. feel like it something about it makes me think that he meant it to start there but it sounds like it starts there yeah for sure So that's a phrase. So this is a phrase. One, two, three, four, five, another. And then one, two, three, four, five again. Fucking brilliant. That's why I loved it so much. I didn't know why, but I'm discovering why. Because he does a phrase of five, 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 five. No, wait. It's six. Shit. Ha. <laughs> That's six. Da, do, da, 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 da. So five, 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 six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
five, five, six, eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You know what I bet it is? I bet this motherfucker, what I said earlier about whether it's the first, second, the, the one, two, three, four, the fifth phrase start, ended on the F sharp or the C sharp, it actually probably ends, I'm sorry, whether it ends on the, on the, on the G or the F sharp, I, I bet you it ends actually on this note. So, because that makes more sense theoretically in the timing structure of it, because then you have phrases of five, 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 six, seven, six, five. He's like elongating the phrasing and then sh shortening it. So you have a phrasing of one, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, four, rest, one, two, one, two, three, four, rest, one, two, three, four, rest, one, two, three, four, rest, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, is that five? Or six, that's five or six. No, it's, yeah, yeah. One, two, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's what it is. Is that right? Let's see if that was it. I think that was it. Now, granted, you can leave all sorts of negative YouTube comments about how disheveled this process is, but this is the process of transcribing, and you need to discover what makes up a piece of music when you transcribe. Um, so this process of like figuring something out and thinking something is one way and messing with it and thinking it's another way and then coming to your conclusion in the end is what you should be doing when you're figuring, figuring out any piece of brilliant music that you are picking apart and trying to use pieces of for yourself. Yeah. That's what it does. So, shit trying like creating patterns oh my god i'm writing that down creating patterns based on adding based on increasing number of notes in phrase i mean i know people have done that in the past it's not a new thing but in this context it's really interesting if it's especially if it's over an ostinato Such a good idea. Thanks, Tigran. If you see this video, um, sorry that I'm stealing your shit, but not really. Because <laughs> it's awesome. Here we go. Uh, what the fuck? If you can't tell, I'm a little tired. It's been a long few days, but I needed to open my mind by learning some something new. Um. All right, so now now that we've got the phrase and we know the phrasing of it, we also know. Let's talk about harmonically. Like obviously, it's going up a half step from. It's in D minor, so the first phrase. Yeah, he goes in. Sorry. Mm 
Now, when, as soon as he hits that, he's pivoted. And he's gone up a half step for the... And you'll notice that the F, that the F is the 9 of E flat minor. And it's also the minor three of D minor. So that last phrase is that. Okay, sick. Ah. That, that's, that's the phrase. So let's do it. Let's do it to a click, maybe? Uh, let's get that first part, too. So the first part of the phrase, actually, is... That's cool. Yeah, like he's, so, he's so, like, fluid on... All right, so we have that. Let's, let's, let's just get a nice, very slow, very, 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 very slow pattern going. Let's just do it really slow. Ooh, that's eh? yeah, meditatively slow. Okay, here we go. That's the phrase. I'm gonna do two things now. I'm gonna get it hands together in octaves, and then I'm gonna do the superimposition of the. It's not a superimposition. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. It's too. My brain is so fried. But um, we're gonna add the 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 ostinato of twelve eight in the left hand after this. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Mm. Actually, just right hand. Because I want to memorize it. Oops, see, I was I was trying to not look at it. I've got to memorize it though. That's what.
good, good, good. All right, now let's try it with the hand relaxed because I'm still kind of tense. Let's see if I can do it with my left hand separately. the notes are there. Yeah. So cool. Somebody liked my track. Yay. Okay. Here we go. Mm. Okay. See if we can keep our mind on the ball here.
just, since we don't have all night, let's just keep it going up. Now we're up to 30 beats per minute. It was 20 originally. Here we go. stay focused because if your mind wanders then you lose the intricacies of what you're playing you can play things a little the phrasing can, can be not right and you're you don't internalize the details of what you're learning so let's try this again time on this but I don't have a ton of time and I've got my own tunes to learn but I needed a break mentally from it play on the fourth I'm gonna do that right here we go Thank mm -hmm. you. 
hits it right on the one in the end. Um, <laughs> Alright, let's just keep this going. If you can tap your foot on the... <laughs> try. Try tapping your foot on the beat. Dude, I don't know if I can. Mm. Mm. Separately now. We're at a good beats per minute, 65, so make sure it's really smooth in each hand separately. Two, three, four. advantage because when you have a light touch you can play more notes faster you can be more precise as well if you practice it with a light touch so let's do the left hand now that's not a light touch let's do that again listen to what you say greg
Again, hands together. Seventy beats per minute. Also want to do with this phrase and <laughs> I could get it up to speed in octaves or single hand in this key and it would probably take me another hour to really get up to speed so instead of going there because I have a limited amount of time I'm going to, to do two things I'm gonna to try to do two things I might get I might not get to the second thing but I'm at least going to start the left hand superimposition so let's I keep saying superimposition. It's really just an ostinato. These are the right hand is what's superimposed, um, time-wise. But let's just listen to what the left hand does. one I think a cool scale so all right so he's doing something very specific with the the way that the left hand is interacting with the right hand but I kind of want to just be able to play the left hand ostinato
morphing a lot. It's morphing a lot. So it's like he's used sometimes using this. He's sometimes using this. Sometimes using this. Sometimes using this. Um. Yeah. If you're if you do watch this video, maybe you can fill me in. But for now, I'm gonna. somewhere you know um, and we're gonna have to slow it down again let's just try it there there's no way I'm gonna get it notes so it changes the key the chord every measure so the way to put this in accurately then is to do dotted half notes so that 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 that, that, that. and then you're back to, to one so if you were to play it in Sibelius, it sounds like this. Oh, come on. Okay. Actually, that's not too weird because two of the phrases in the middle line directly up with the left, with the left hand. Let's just not even do this in time. And then that starts there. So okay, so that, that second phrase, that first and second phrase are not that challenging. It's not that weird. So the, the, that lies in the rest. 
uh, this lies in the rest. sure that you're lining it up correctly when you're playing it. So this might take me a little longer than what I want to put in tonight, but let's keep going for a little bit. as hard as I'm playing. Catching myself.
Let's do it here. Actually, I, I can keep track of it that slowly. in my mind I hit this note when I hit this note it's right there two three get easier as you speed it up. It's hard to keep track of these multiple time signatures very slowly. It's actually a little easier when you get faster. Whoops, that wasn't right though.
finish this another day maybe I won't but you get how I'm starting to transcribe this the next steps are gonna be learning it like getting it up to speed how I was just playing it so you have hands together hands separately and with the ostinato in the left hand and then you learn it in all the keys and then you flip it upside down and also learn it in all the keys but I can't do that tonight I've got to go to sleep um, peace